Hi Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your uh, weekly reading. It's the 27th of May through to the 2nd of June. Uh, you already have your, um, you've already got your monthly reading as well up, June 2019, month ahead. So you can go and check that out if you fancy it. Um, so for this reading, my darlings, we are using the, uh, let me think. Every day, which is tarot decided now. I used this one for the other readings for the, for the week ahead energy, but I'm going to use this one. I prefer to use this one. So for the week ahead energy, what you need to focus on, we're using the Witches uh, Every Day Witches Tarot by Deborah Blake. And uh, we are going to then fill in the body of the reading with the Every Day Enchantment Tarot, Poppy Paley, my favourite deck. Uh, Spellcasters Tarot by uh, Melly Marquis to see whatever, uh, what, a, what other stuff you might need to focus on for the week. And Divine Guidance through the lovely Carl Gray Keepers of the Light cards. Okay. Uh, I'm not on screen this week because I'm on screen for the monthly. So usually if I have a week where I'm doing having to do the monthly and the weeklies, I'll be on the monthlies or I'll be on the weeklies, but I won't be on both, okay? This week, uh, this time, this month, it's going to be where uh, we're doing the week ahead, um, the last week ahead of the month, uh, I think it is, yeah. Um, you know, with, with me just showing the cards, which I quite enjoy doing it like this. I really do. But I do like to be on screen a lot as well because I just think it's important to have a presence and people to see what you look like on screen as well. That's just my personal take. Right, so what is it that uh, you need to focus on this week, Aquarius? Universe Group, what is it Aquarius that needs to focus on this week? What does Aquarius need to be focusing on? It's gone out of sync. There you go. What is it What is it that Aquarius needs to be focusing on between the 27th of May into the 2nd of June? Show me. Okay, that came out. Right, you need to focus on the Hierophant. That showed up, actually, for the last sign, and I was using the, uh, the the sign before last that I did. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Gemini that this showed up for, but I was using the Spellcaster's Tarot to get the energy, the weekly energy. So it was a different version of this card. So on this card, it's a lot, you know, <clears throat> and this is why I say that when you get Tarot cards, read... The energies, not just in terms of, I, I would never advocate anybody, I mean, there's certain people ask questions, well, if I get different decks, do I read all the decks the same? Well, no, hell no. Because, you know, when you look at a card and you look at the picture on the card, it can tell you something entirely different. The Hierophant of the Spellcaster's Tarot shows a faceless Hierophant. This is somebody who wants to be worshipped, not because of what they truly believe in, but because it's a responsibility, because it's a tradition. It's it's all about garb and, you know, what that hierophant is dressed like and who they come across as. It's all about appearances, but this isn't. You can see on this hierophant, she's closing her eyes. She's really into what she's doing. Can you see? She's guiding these people. Can you see? They're sitting. It's almost like I think they're doing meditation, yoga stroke meditation. And these she's a guidance. Uh, she's a figure of guidance. And this is what you need to be focusing on this week. Can you see how calm she is? She's guiding others. You need to focus either on guiding others, Aquarius, or you need to focus on being guided by others. Also, I think that, you know, when I look at this card, it's all about getting in touch with the self. I know that's very cliched and cheesy, but it's true. Because this is all about inner guidance. So getting in touch with what your inner guidance system tells you. Because this, is, this lady is teaching these, these people to go inwards, to gain your own insight. What are your own belief systems? Calm yourself. Meditate, close your eyes, feel the power of now and who you are, as it were. Okay, so you, this is a week for guidance and focusing on being guided. I feel this week. Okay, let's have a look at the past of the situation with the Hierophant. Hierophants represent tradition, but this lady here, this particular Hierophant, for me, this is not about tradition. For me, this is about literally following a path of guidance. Uh, Aquarius, because in the past, you guys, there could have been an individual here, Aquarius, a king of coins. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could have been a marriage partner, a long-term relationship partner with the king of coins. It could have been a business partner with the king of coins energy showing up here. Uh, three of cups. So some of you guys, a friendship, a partnership. You're involved in a partnership, friendship with the king of coins. Male or female, kings and queens can be male or female, it doesn't matter, you know, it's just, it can be either, either sex really, whether it's a king or a queen. Involved with an earth sign potentially, 
Three of Cups energy, partnership, King of Coins. Or King of Coins could have been a third party. Nine of Coins though, showing up here. Now the Nine of Coins you'll notice is sitting on her own and she's enjoying her downtime. So this is somebody who wants independence. And I do feel that some of you guys in the past, Aquarius, wanted your independence from a relationship, a partnership with this individual showing up here. Because if you look at the Nine of Coins here, she's sitting at her desk, she's eating fruit, she's reading a book, and it's like, oh, she's saying, oh, this is bliss. I don't have to be around these people here having a chat. I can just stay out of this, you know. This person doesn't want to be in this group. Okay. Uh, some of you guys, it might be that your friends... Your friends have been talking, you and your friends talking about a king of coins, a guy. And you're like, you know what, actually, I don't want any part of this, I just want to be on my own. So it's either maybe a friendship with an individual showing up here and you're kind of like, well, I'm staying out of this, I want my independence from this. Maybe this person is involved in a third party situation with you and you're like, I don't want any part of this with the nine of coins, I just want my own space now. Or this could be maybe literally kind of being in a group of friends and you're talking about an individual here, but you're like, you know what, actually I just want my own space. Some of you guys, you might have been speaking with your friends about the perfect type of partner that you want because the king of coins is like, for a lot of women, especially, he's the perfect dude. He's successful, he's good looking, usually quite tall, doesn't have to be tall obviously, but very handsome is the king of coins and he's got it all going on. He's very affluent, he's got a lot of money. And this looks like a conversation as well about a dude here. It's like, ah, oh, you know, these are like, oh man, did you see him the other night? Can you see her face? She's like, oh, really? She's like, really? And she's like, yeah, yeah, did you see him? Did you see him? Did you see, did you see what he had on? Did you know this dude's so good? Oh my God, do you know how much money he's got? Do you? And she's saying to her, do you know how much money this guy's got? Oh my God. And he's single and he's fucking available. And you're like, oh my God. But you're like, you know what? I'm really not into this. <laughs> you're like, I really, I really can't. You're either a part of that group or you know people like this that are talking about this type of an individual. I don't think this individual's in your life though for some reason. I, I get the impression that this is somebody who's very available and very much on the market. This could be work colleagues talking about an individual such as this, the boss, the good looking boss, but you're like, you know what, actually, I'm not too fussed about this, I just want my own space. What is your thought pattern going forward though? Uh, Aquarius into the week concerning this situation. What is your thought pattern going forward into the week concerning this? Well, the Two of Coins, I think that you're wavering mentally with the Two of Coins energy because the Two of Coins means to be wavering. I think that kind of like you, this looks, and it's a change card, this represents change. So I think there's a change of mind here for some of you guys with that Two of Coins uh, energy showing up here. Uh, yeah, death transformation there's a change of mind and there's a massive kind of mentally transformation death energy but also you might not want this anymore because this is death there's a transformation and a death coming in so there's a change in death mentally you've got this change of mind with the two of coins and there's a an ending it's about an ending here uh death energy showing up here uh fall okay i feel that can you see how the fall is going into death you're ready for a transformation all right you're ready for a transformation, all right? Because this is endings and new beginnings, all right? So you guys are ready for this new beginning. You're ready for a transformation. Some of you guys, I mean, you've heard people talking about this really good looking dude, some of you guys have, yeah? Or a really good, it doesn't have to be, it could be somebody that you know within the workplace, really good looking, looks like, you know, would be the perfect partner. And these girls are like, ah! <laughs> over this individual or you've got people around you that talk about oh i'd love this type of guy oh my god really yeah i, I knew a guy like this but i'd love this type of guy he's got everything and you're like no thanks but then into the week you're generally kind of like you know what actually two of coins i'm starting to change my mind on this you know uh, you know i would like a transformation i'm ready with the full energy to to transform now. I'm ready for things to change. I'm ready to end being single because the Nine of Coins is all about being independent. Even if you've got boyfriends or girlfriends, you're not really in a relationship with them. And you guys are kind of like, well, I'm ready now. Mentally, I'm ready for the opportunity for change. I'm ready to go and seek change. Can you see how he's walking into this? I'm ready for change now. And you guys are, you're changing your mind. Death and that Nine of Coins, you're ready for the change. You're ready to not be single anymore. What's the universe telling you to do? 
Universe Group, what is the advice for Aquarius concerning this situation? What advice do you have for them? The Queen of Cups shot out there. So I feel with the Queen of Cups, the advice really is just to open yourself up emotionally to others because this lady doesn't open herself up emotionally. She's always on her own, practically. She likes her own space. But really, the universe is saying, well, if you don't want to be on your own, it's now it's time to kind of start talking to people and kind of being more kind of receptive, uh, which the Queen of Cups energy is. There you go, that Hierophant again, but in this one. Oh, my God. Um, you need to open your up, yourself up with this Queen of Cups emotionally. Uh, guidance is the Hierophant energy. So this is all about learning. It's funny, that's your card. Should we'll put this one here. You had Hierophant as your advice for the week, and Hierophant shows up here as well. The King of Cups. So this is a commitment, commitment with the King of Cups. You need to open yourself up romantically, emotionally, to the idea of having a commitment. Because the Hierophant is about a union. It's not just about education, it's about a union between two people. And the King of Cups, this is marriage. King of Cups, union with the King of Cups. With, and King of Cups is the perfect guy. You know? Um... The King of Coins is great, but a lot of the time women will look, especially if it's a woman, you'll look at a King of Coins because of what he's got. Again, this is one of those, what I call appearance cards, is the King of Coins. He's a nice dude, don't get me wrong. He's the type that, you know, he's, a lot of people say this is the perfect dude in the tarot for a relationship. He's committed, he's wanting something long term, all the rest of it. Um, but I actually feel that, yeah, whilst I do like that card, I think King of Cups is your best bet because this guy's going to love you unconditionally. So you need to open your advice is open yourself up emotionally to having a connection, a union with somebody who will love you unconditionally. All right, because there's a reason why we have two different kings. The King of Cups is great. King of Coins is great, but he's a material guy. He's a money guy. He's a business guy. So sometimes when you get the King of Coins, and it doesn't matter whether it's upright or reversed, sometimes when you get that guy, it's really about someone who appears to have everything. He's got the car. He's got the clothes. He's got the money. He's got everything. And this is what drives the girls mad. Like, because... As it, a lot of people say, and as we know, sometimes women don't want a nice guy. They want a rich guy, you know. They want a guy who's got status, which the King of Coins has. And money, and business, and he's well respected, and all the rest of it. And of course, we want, if you want to get involved with someone, you want them to be respected. But this guy is respected for what he has. He's respected for his business acumen. And these, this drives these work. these are probably your co-workers, and it drives them mad. They're like, really? Oh, my God. Oh, he's so gorgeous. Oh, my God. He's so lovely. He's got everything. And you're like, yes, yeah, okay, so what, yeah. I'm kind of cool on my own. I don't give a shit about this. This is how Aquarius is. But then during the week, you've kind of got this change of mind going on. You're like, you know what, actually, I am ready for a change. I am ready for something new. I'm completely, and you are, because it's major cards. So you've made this life-affirming decision that you really are, ready for something new. Well, the universe is saying, well, if you are, then our advice is open yourself up with the Queen of Cups energy. Well, what are you opening yourself up to emotionally? Well, Hierophant, there's two, I'm going to read this two ways. You need to open yourself up emotionally to being able to, to a union, having a, a, a very deep union. But it, it's the king that that kind of says something to me, with a king of cups. It's not a king of coins, it's a king of cups. With somebody who's going to love you unconditionally. Because you've probably not bothered with this energy. Because even though the king of coins is a nice dude, you know that this person has very much a high expectation. And these people are only really interested in him because of what he's got. And what he represents. But the king of cups, is, we're not interested in king of cups because of what he's got. We're interested in him for who he is as a person deep down. So you guys need to open yourself up to being in a commitment, to being in a strong union with somebody for who they are. King of Cups and not necessarily what they represent or what they've got, King of Pentacles, all right? So if you, you want love, the universe is saying, 
look for love in the right places. Look for love for the type of love. Because probably you ain't wanted what they've wanted because of what this person represents. Not that it's a bad thing, but you want more. So really the week is all about tapping into what is your belief system? What is your higher self telling you? Because she's trying to get these people to a state of knowing who they are on a very much a higher plane. So you need to tap into who you are and what you want on a higher plane. You know, what is your higher self telling you? It's not what everybody else tells you. Some people will go for what everyone else goes for. So somebody will say, oh man, he's so this, he's so that, he's the other, you know, all the rest of it. And people will go for that material type of thing. But the universe is saying, well, you, if you're ready for it, if you really are ready for it, open your heart up to a commitment here of an energy with someone who will really love you. Somebody who you can have unconditional love with. King of Cups. Because sometimes in the Tarot, the King of Coins does not love unconditionally. He has prerequisites and he has boxes that he ticks off. Right, she's good looking, check. She's got long legs, check. She's got a really good job, check. You know? And she does sometimes. So if anybody wants to come and rag on my ass for what I'm saying about the King of Coins, you can do one. Because I'm sick of it. I had this when I was doing Scorpio and I had King of Coins. And people were like, oh, well, all the tarot readers are saying that this man is faithful and he's loyal and he's committed. And he is. But he's also the type of dude that isn't going to take a girlfriend unless he really kind of like, yeah, she's the perfect match. Whereas the King of Cups, you could say to the King of Cups, I've got a whole heap of scars on me. You know? I've got a massive scar down my face that I cover with makeup. And he will accept it. This guy probably would have second thoughts. Because everything's got to be kind of perfection sometimes for that King of Coins. And you guys are probably going to disagree with me. And I'm probably going to get ragged on. But I know what I'm talking about. I've seen this dude many a time. And if you look at certain books in the tarot, it will tell you that King of Coins and who he is some of the time. All right, I'm not saying he's a bad bloke, but he does have standards. And he sticks to it because he's about the material. That's the King of Coins for you. Whereas King of Cups loves unconditional. So you need to open yourself up to learning to... To having a union, here if it is a union with somebody who's going to love you unconditional rather than somebody who's going to be all about the status, which is what these girls are into. Tap into the higher self. What is it you truly want in terms of love? You're ready for it. Just tap into what it is that you truly want. Some people don't mind this type of dude. You know, it works. The relationships are different on many levels, you know. The archetype of the king of coins, some women will like that and they'll, be one of, they'll want to be good looking all the time for a king of coins because he'll expect that of them. You know, he'll expect them to always look the part. The king of cups will be just like come as you are. Right, let's have a look at any other energies for the week. Uh, oops, a daisy. Aquarius. What are the other energies you see coming through for Aquarius? For the Okay, there's one. That showed the hanged man. So the hanged man on this particular deck shows somebody who is stuck. He's, he's hanging upside down, but he's hanging in the normal position, but he looks like he's in a coffin. So this is somebody whose kind of hands are tied. He looks tied. So hands are tied, hanged man energy. Four of coins in the reverse. Well, the four of coins in the reverse, uh, this is a release. Four of coins reverse. It's interesting that card shows up as a reversal. Financial instability, though. I actually feel that some of you guys are a little bit stuck. It's talking about some financial instability with the four of coins in the reverse. And you're feeling hindered by financial instability. Uh, wishes being fulfilled though. Nine of cups energy showing up here. Genie coming out of the bottle. Yeah, wishes being fulfilled. There's something good around the corner for you guys. If you've been feeling hindered because there's financial insecurity, you haven't got enough money, the nine of cups is saying something really good is happening here. You've got the sun. It looks really positive. Positive new beginnings and changes. The Five of Cups energy showing here. Uh, throwing away the last of... what It's interesting why we've got this Five of Cups. So overcoming healing of this. Healing. Healing the Five of Cups. Alright, so this is good. Uh, Aquarius, if you've been feeling stuck, uh, not enough money, Four of Coins reverse, financial instability, just know with the Nine of Cups energy... Wishes are being granted for some of you guys between the 27th of uh, April, May to the 2nd of June, in which there will be healing with the sun card of problems, five of cups, or worries with the five of cups energy, okay? 
Uh, any other energies, please? Other energies showing up. Uh, okay, eight of wands, setbacks, or slow movement in terms of messages. Eight of wands, but new beginnings showing up here. I feel that what is slowing down or what has slowed down, I think something is going to come out of this. It's like a surprise. Suddenly, something's going to happen. This is like a sudden... Um, but also, if things are moving slowly, you have the power to create the change. Because Ace of Wands is where you hold the power to create change, to take action. So I feel that if things have been moving slowly, you have the power over the next few days to create changes with the Ace of Wands energy showing up here. Page of Swords... It's telling you to investigate, to research with this page of swords. You hold the power in your hands. All right, can you see the ace of swords? You hold the power of the written word as well to send emails and texts. If things have been delayed, you hold the power to send an email, to send a text, to speak your truth with this page of swords energy showing up here. Uh, Queen of Wands showing up here as well, uh, Aquarius. Could be a little bit of an argument or an altercation with another individual showing up here. It should be resolved the situation. A ten of cups, things being resolved nicely. Uh, what I'm seeing here is uh, on this one uh, delays, eight of wands energy. This could be in messages or um, um, projects or something like that. But you have the power in your hands to take action through the words. You need to say. Things are being delayed. You need to say, well, why, what the hell's happening with this, uh, Aquarius? Okay, some of you guys, there might be a little bit of an altercation with a woman in the family as well, because the Ten of Cups is the family. This is a woman. And this is an altercation. Might be a little bit of an altercation with a woman in a family. However, this could be overcome as well with the Ace, with the Ten of Cups. Uh, I'm seeing uh, with the Hanged Man. Some of you guys feeling a little bit limited. Uh, with that hangman energy in terms of your finances because there's a lack of security finances but however wishes are being granted so this is being overcome and you are healing any worries that you've had so this is nice good financially not so sure good for the family it looks like maybe a problem within the family with an individual but if things are taking a long time to come to fruition you need to start taking action you either need to start putting pen to paper or speaking or researching or something like that okay uh, let's have a quick look at um, the final card and let's have a look at what guidance you guys are receiving. What is the guidance coming in? What guidance is, what is the spiritual guidance you'd like to give Aquarius week commencing 27th of May through to the 2nd of June, showman. Right, it's from Serapis Bay Ascension. And it's saying, move into your true self, rise above the darkness, the light is here. Okay, brilliant. All right, that is your reading, my darlings, for the week ahead. If you'd like a personal reading with me, just click on the, uh, the link in the uh, comment section below. Uh, also, make sure you check out your month ahead reading for June 2019. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe and have a great week. And have a great month. Take care. Bye-bye.